The pandemic has sped up the need for digital education in Nigeria. Everyone is now required to adapt to this change. In light of this, Slum to School Africa has launched a virtual learning studio for children in slum and remote communities, the first of its kind in Africa. In addressing the challenges of electricity and theft for the success of this virtual platform, the founder of Slum to School, Oron Dam Otto, assures that enough plans have been put in place to ensure its success through tracking devices and good network. Even if you build a school, there might not be capacity to take all the kids. You know, it might be raining on one day and the children cannot come to school. The teacher might be sick and a class of 50 kids cannot learn. So there's always a challenge. We have tried to ensure that we look at each of these components that could be a risk or a challenge to mitigate it. You know, so we've, we're, worked, we're looking at the best internet providers in each, in each um, location. Uh, at the studio, the virtual learning studio, we're using fiber optics, you know, which is you know, one of the best in the world. If the devices get stolen, we have a tracking tool on them. They can be tracked, they can be disabled remotely. In order to ensure a smooth virtual class, about a million licenses have been provided by Microsoft to support this initiative. When I saw that Slum to School was working on a solution to continue to keep these children engaged and learning, I just had to get on board. And so on behalf of Microsoft, um, we donated, or rather gave, provided over one million licenses for the students um, to be able to access uh, platforms like Teams. So Teams is the virtual um, like video conferencing tool within Microsoft. And so they're using that in this studio now to reach those kids. They also have access to Office 365, which includes all the things that we are familiar with, email, Word, all of those things. So now the kids are also building their digital skill sets at the same time while they're continuing to learn. Virtual learning has become the new norm and will remain with us long after the pandemic. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Iseme Omohai.